everyone <laughs> welcome to today's video so today we're going to be talking about packing and to be more specific things that we packed for our 2019 trip that we didn't end up really needing shorts <laughs> so number one is shorts but the rest are So, the number one thing that we packed that we didn't really need Short. was summer style clothes. Um, no, we needed the winter parka, <laughs> the fleece, the flannel, and the electric blanket. Not joking. Uh, we flew in the day after Christmas, so we got in the, the, towards the end of December. And a lot of people had said, oh, well, you know, it's Florida. One day it could be, you know, really cold. And the next day it's going to be, you know, in the 70s, 80s. And you just kind of have to pack for all, all weather. And we did to some point. We packed jeans. We packed t-shirts, tanks. Shorts. Shorts, long sleeve. We did pack. Coats, gloves. But then we also had like our coats and Sam had gloves, I had gloves, and you ended up using your coat and gloves a couple times. Mm -hmm. Now Sam does stay a little cooler than a typical person after chemo. His, um, his veins have like tightened up after chemo so he, um, the blood flow is different so he does stay cooler. But I, there were other people in like earmuffs and gloves and um, I was in long sleeve shirts and not something that we really expected to deal with in Florida, right? Mm -hmm. Like we were like, hey, we're like, we were kind of like, <laughs> we're escaping. It was warmer at home. Right. It was so funny. Like we would check the weather at home. We were in con consistent um touch with my parents we would talk to them on a daily basis and one day my dad's like oh yeah it's 68 here i'm sure it's in the 80s in florida and i'm like oh just no, rub it 45. in it's 45 in florida and dad's like are you kidding no dad we weren't kidding so it was it was so odd that we left the cold and went to the cold and like while we were gone it was warm <laughs> um so I'm sorry i'm not elsa the cold does bother me anyway. <laughs> so that was um, one of the things that we definitely packed that that stuff that we packed that we didn't need. And I think because uh, we did. I think really shorts was about the only thing I packed that I really didn't need. I think I overpacked on some things because we had the space. Um, if you didn't know, we did fly first class, which entitled us each to two free checked bags. Um, we only and, checked two bags. Though. Right. We checked two bags going and three coming back because you checked your carry on when we came back. One in. I had it. You're you got grumpy. The duffel bag? Uh -huh. I thought you checked it. I was going to and you got grumpy. Probably. I was tired. I was done. I was ready to come home. Um, but that <laughs> was a little grumpy the day that we flew out to. <laughs> um, and if you want to know why I was grumpy, check out the playlist below and watch our travel day. And I think you would be grumpy too. So I ended up packing like and I know a lot of people pack a lot of different ears, and I think I only ended up wearing ears like one or two days out of mm. 14 days. Um, I packed a, several different kinds of autograph things like frames and ornaments. The ornaments I did take on, ev like I had in my bag every day with the markers. So the ornaments did come in really handy. And, and we have a few. Yeah, and we have some at home. The characters and Julie, our tour guide, and um, some I, of the countries. All, we become, um, the Kidcot stations at um, Epcot, we had them stamp um, the ornaments and they wrote us a note. Definitely something that I don't regret packing. Um, and I will link the ornaments in the description below to what I ordered. Um, but I packed, but then I packed like just some other. It was just some random stuff. 
And I can't even remember everything that we packed, but I know that we probably could have survived with one suitcase as opposed to two. Um, it was because we didn't need the second pull down bed, the Murphy bed at Pop, we did, we were able to leave that up and use it as a table. And it actually, for us, it, it became a junk, a, a junk spot for the two weeks because we, um, we just threw stuff on there and it was literally stuff that we pulled out of the bags. I'm like, where do we put this? I don't know what. And he was going, why did you pack this? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> But I really think that for the most part, it was, it was... Why'd you pack the live tuna fish? Right. <laughs> um, I think what it really came down to was, it was clothes. It was clothes and extra accessories that, like, we just, I didn't really need or I didn't, I took and I didn't wear. Right? I don't think I took anything I didn't wear. Outside of, like, two pairs of shorts. Two pairs of shorts and a couple t-shirts. Because you wore, Sam wore button downs or lo, or like we got a couple long sleeve t-shirts I think that you wore the whole time. Mm -hmm. I wanted long sleeves. It was cold. Um. You are trying to make me t-shirts and shorts. <laughs> I did wear tanks several times. Um, just because That's pneumonia that way. Um, just because I uh I do stay warmer than Sam does, but. Even I had to cave and wear jackets and sweatshirts and stuff several times. We even bought you a jacket. Mm -hmm. But Sam, I for we were going to the luau. To the luau. We were going to the luau, and it's outdoors, and um, it had been a beautifully, excuse me, warm day that day, and so I didn't. Um, so she wore tank top. I wore a tank top and shorts, and the sun went down, and of course right throughout the water and the sun went down it cooled down fast and so sam bought me um it looks kind of like a letterman jacket it's um, mickey mouse's letterman jacket. yeah it's mickey mouse's letterman jacket um it's super comfortable um i i throw it on even you know on a cooler morning to go to like run around and do errands when we came home so I have a black zip-up hoodie, Disney one, and I have the Mickey Letterman jacket. So it seems like the past two times, no, when we went in November and in December, I ended up with a new sweatshirt or coat. <laughs> um, so what are things that we packed that we used, a, like, you want to know that we packed, okay, I already answered my own question. What are things that we packed that we used a whole lot? Our long you know, the, gloves. the long sleeves and the coats and gloves. You actually had to take off your gloves at the scan station to um because you had them going on into the park. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know this one. So that's that's kind of it. It was pretty much my suggestion is if you're going in December. Still pack, pack for, for as if you're going to Alaska. <laughs> pack pack for the fact that it, you know... It feels like Siberia. <laughs> you say that about our house. I is. <laughs> 27 below zero is not a uh, human living conditions. <laughs> not 27 below zero. Fine, and even 30. <laughs> I was trying to be optimistic. So, <laughs> I totally thought what I was going to say. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, so, my suggestion, that's what I was going to say. My suggestion is if you're going in like December, January time frame, go ahead Expect and... Expect the temperatures at the top of Mount Everest. No. <laughs> if you're Sam, yes. But if if you don't mind, I know there were some guys that ran around at night in shorts. Um, if you're one of those people that just, you don't care what the temperature is, you're going to wear shorts and a tank top because it's in Florida, then you're going to pack the way you want. If you're going and be to be ready to go to the doctor. <laughs> with pneumonia. Because you got pneumonia. 
Um, I would suggest maybe packing a couple pairs of shorts, a couple tank tops or t-shirts, but also make sure to have jeans and um, long sleeve t-shirts, long sleeve polos, that kind of thing, depending on um, who, who you're going with, who you're packing for. Um, a light jacket isn't going to be a bad thing. Um, for us, um, An electric blanket wrapped inside your coat's not going to be a bad thing either. <laughs> Just make sure you got a long enough extension cord. <laughs> or a battery pack. That'll work too. <laughs> um, for me, I just left my, um, my heavier coat that I had in the room. I didn't really use it. But Sam wore his several days in the park. So I wore a coat almost every day. Yeah, he did. He really did. And it rained a lot. Yeah, so my black one or my brown one. It rained a lot. So I think that also contributed to like it staying cooler and not like because just as it would start to warm up again, here would become more rain. It felt more like we were there in the summer than in December. So there's there's that. So in December and January, Sam's packing new shorts if we go again. Oh. Thanks so much for watching. Back for Siberia. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video where we will not be in Siberia. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>